I had heard about these annual events called the Festival of Lights. I even knew friends who had been on coach trips to see them, but I'd never experienced anything like this before. I knew I couldn't wait to see it for myself and of course film it all. So when taking a holiday in October on the Isle of Wight, I discovered that there would be such an event at Robin Hill Park, a popular place to visit near where I was staying. This year's Festival of Light, inspired by Diwali, is celebrating the 70th anniversary of India's independence. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. The word Diwali comes from a Sanskrit word, meaning rows of lighted lamps, celebrated by Hindus and Sikhs for a variety of reasons. The main theme is the triumph of light over darkness and good over evil. From the bright lights and vibrant feel of modern India, I ventured into the wild and enchanting forest and discovered colourful elephants creatively brought to life. The festival sees millions of people attending firework displays, prayers and celebratory events across the world every autumn. So as dusk slowly falls, a beautiful array of stunning creatively themed lights and rich colour brings a warm and magical glow to the trees, capturing the aspects of Indian culture. There's a lot of play equipment for grown-ups to explore. Huge climbing frames and wooden bridges across branches high up in the trees. After seeing a beautifully lit massive rope bridge spanning a gorge, I had to have a go and walk across it. It's fantastic! Well, it was truly the best experience ever. Going, I'm going in. Oh, look at this, this is amazing. I'm coming back now. This is me coming back. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Brilliant. Best <laughs> film ever, that. <laughs> Walking down the highway, I find myself caught up in the hustle and bustle of urban life and Indian bazaars absorbing the aromas of Asian and Middle Eastern cuisine. There are people enjoying the smell and tastes of authentic Indian food, including curries and kebabs, Asian sweets and traditional teas, in the setting of a colourful Indian bazaar. Oh, I do love the smell and taste of a well-made vindaloo. And even the nighttime air was unusually warm for this time of year. Amazing. Turning a corner to a spiritual, more serene setting by woodland ponds, a waterfall cascades over a wooden bridge, leading to an ancient temple. I'm pleased to say, that I didn't get my camera wet once. The guidebook said, to celebrate the 70th anniversary, this unique outdoor event takes on a fresh approach, which will immerse visitors in different experiences within each woodland area, transformed by innovative, contrasting themes and lighting effects. Well, I can honestly say it certainly did all that and more. It was a truly magical evening and one I will never forget. <laughs>